How much are units selling for at Black Diamond Lodge? My name's Ron Wilstein, and I'm a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties Worldwide Collaboration here in Park City, Utah. Thank you for joining me for this Black Diamond Lodge market update. I want to share with you three things during this presentation. Number one, I want to give you a brief overview of the Park City real estate market. And then I'm going to ask my colleague Doug Olmsted to come in and share with you about recent sales and prices at Black Diamond Lodge. And then finally, I want to share with you why now may be the right time to sell. Okay. Let's take a look at the Park City real estate market. These days our market is mixed, so let's take a closer look at it. Over the past 12 months, there's been 1,268 sales, and that consists of homes, condos, and lots. This is all real estate brokerages combined, and that is down 59 sales, or 4%, from the same 12-month period the year before. This graph here shows us homes, condos, and lots with a year-to-year -year comparison with the red bars representing the time period of October 2018 through September 2019, and the silver bar represents the 12 months before that. You can see that home sales are up by 1%, climbing from 517 sales to 523. Not a huge increase, but an increase. In condos, there's no change at 626 for both years, and lot sales are down statistically 35%, but dropping from 184 sales to 119. A lot of that is accounted for by the fact that there are very few lots on the market to be purchased. This graph shows us a comparison of home sales. This time I've broken it into Park City and the Snyderville Basin, with Park City home sales increasing by 12% from 160 sales to 179. We see a decline in the Snyderville Basin from 357 sales to 344. Here we're looking at condominiums and a decrease, fewer sales by 5%, from 333 to 318 in the city limits from the Snyderville Basin up by 5%, climbing to 308 sales from 293 the previous year. In vacant land, we see a decline from 36 sales to 20, and again, keep in mind, very few lots for sale, particularly in the city limits, but a 38% decrease. A decline also in the Snyderville Basin by 35% from 152 sales to 99. What you want to keep in mind is that a year ago, the number of homes on the market were very few, and that spurred an increase in the purchase of lots. Now there's more inventory on the market, hence fewer people looking at lots. What's happening with prices? Everyone wants to know how their properties are doing. And the good news is, overall, properties are increasing in value. Here we're looking at home medium sold prices. Again, Park City and the Snyderville Basin up by 3% in the Park City limits from $1,922,750 to $1,975,000 for the median price, and up 5% from $1,002,000 to $1,265,000 in the Snyderville Basin. Now note this is single digits, and those of you who have been following our webinar know that we have been reporting for years double digits. It's the first month we're seeing single digits. We'll see if it holds up. If so, it's a slowdown in appreciation, Still, very positive. Certainly most of the country would be pleased with 3 to 5% or higher, but a decrease from historically what Park City was. Turning to condominiums, the prices are actually down in the city limits by 4%, from $820,000 to a new medium sold price of $790,500, but up by 4% in the Snyderville Basin from $530,000 to now $550,000. Lot sales up in the city limits by 7%, climbing to a new high of 1075000 and actually no change, the Snyderville Basin fixed at 493000 as a medium sold price. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look into what's been going on in the Black Diamond Lodge real estate market. Sales in Black Diamond Lodge are up with three sales during the previous 12 months, with none the year prior, or you can see that graphically with three sales. One thing we do consider when analyzing properties in Black Diamond Lodge is the absorption rate. Now the absorption rate helps us forecast how long the condominiums currently on the market are likely to sell in the future based on how many condominiums sold in Black Diamond Lodge during the previous 12 months. Now the National Association of Realtors 
tells us that a balanced market, that of equal sellers and buyers, is six months, and in a resort town such as Park City, it's actually nine months. Now, Black Diamond Lodge units are selling at a pace of one sale every 122 days, and there are currently no Black Diamond Lodge units on the market. You can see from what I said earlier about the absorption rate, obviously if one or even two did hit the market at the same time, the current real estate market would still favor the sellers at this time. Selling prices in Black Diamond Lodge have ranged from $3,200,000 all the way up to $4 million. This makes the median sold price $3,780,000 and they've been selling for an average of 82 days on the market. Now, if you'd like to know the details of what's been recently selling in Black Diamond Lodge, uh, Ron is going to come next and show you how you can get that information uh, whenever you would like. If you're interested in sold information on a particular neighborhood or condo project, just go to our website, buyparkcity.com, and at the top, choose the Market Info tab. Go down, there's three circles here. Choose the one on the right, Market Report. It will take you to this screen and here you'll see click here to receive sold data. Simply choose that button. This box will open here and I've already pre-selected it. Email me sold data on the neighborhood or condo project listed below. In this blue box simply put in your address or your subdivision name or your condominium name. Complete your contact information and hit submit and we will contact you and get you that sold data right away. If you want a free property value assessment of your property, choose that box before you hit submit. It's just that easy. If you want to set up a report so it comes to you all the time on a particular neighborhood, again, go to Market Report, Market Info, then Market Report, and I'll get out of the way here. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to choose a subdivision. The easy way to do that is choose all, and let's say I want Four Lakes Village. I do F, that takes me to the F group. I find Four Lakes Village, choose it, hit go to market report and you will instantly get a report. It will give you active listings and pendings. You can choose any one of these and it will open up the listing for you to look at it more carefully. And if you like that report and you want to get it on a regular basis without lifting a finger, go to save market report and get market updates. Name your report and then set your preference and it will come to you automatically in your email. You won't have to do a thing. If you're interested in it, when it arrives, you click on it. If you're not, you delete it. It's really just that simple. You can do the same thing with property searches. Now, I do want to mention that if you're setting it up and you happen to find that you don't see the particular subdivision you're interested in or your neighborhood, that means there's no current listings on the market. If that's the case, then you want to do a broader area in the MOS, let's say Park Meadows, if we were looking at uh, Four Lakes Village and there weren't any on the market, you could go to Park Meadows. And if you wanted to, you could refine your search to only homes or condos or land, price ranges if that's important to you, uh, size, square footage, you name it, and then click market report and it will take you to a broader market report and you'll instantly have that information right in front of you. This way, if a property comes on the market in your neighborhood that wasn't when you set up the report, it will appear here and you'll be able to get the details. So that's how you want to set that up if currently there are no uh, listings in your particular condominium or neighborhood. Thank you for participating in our webinar today. Don't forget to bookmark buyparkcity.com forward slash black diamond. That way you can watch updated webinars on the black diamond market as well as request sold data anytime that you want.